quarantine. It's a word that evokes images of life across America in the spring of 2020 thanks to COVID-19. But quarantine continues to have meaning here in Pennsylvania, and it's something all residents should be paying attention to, thanks to a small invasive insect that could have a major economic impact on our state. The spotted lanternfly, native to parts of Asia, was first discovered in southeastern Pennsylvania in 2014. It's now been found in 34 counties. So, you know, it has spread across the southeast. It's heading, you know, it's moved kind of westward and, and into the Pittsburgh area and all along that corridor. But to have it be found in an established population in Cameron County, one of our more northern counties, is definitely concerning because you know, you suppose if it can survive there, it could survive in the counties in between Cameron and where the existing counties are. The spotted lanternfly doesn't bite or sting humans or animals or destroy buildings, but research shows it could cost the state $324 million annually and cut 2,800 jobs. That's because it's known to eat up to 70 varieties of tree and plant species, including grapevines that are vital to Pennsylvania's economy which is where the quarantine order comes in. The goal is to keep the pest from being transported across the region, causing more damage. But in a broader sense, we're just trying to get everybody to use common sense. Don't park under trees that have lots of lanternflies where the females could drop down and lay eggs on your car. Um, you know, if you can park it inside, that's a good idea. Don't park with your windows open. So a female that has eggs could jump in and then jump out when you go somewhere else. Um, and certainly if you're moving anything that's been sitting outside, so lumber, lawn furniture, children's play sets, you know, the list goes on and on, landscaping materials, rocks, they'll lay their eggs on any of those objects. So what do you need to look for? The life stages of the spotted lanternfly are dependent on the time of year. In late spring, most are in the nymph stage. That means they've hatched from their eggs and are ready to start eating and growing. They are small and are black with white spots and feed on the tender parts of trees. They especially enjoy eating leaves. Oftentimes you'll see them climbing up tree trunks and they, they often blow out of the trees where they're feeding up high and then they'll fall down to the ground and they'll climb to another, to a trunk or stem to go back up to try to feed again. There is action you can take when you find nymphs on your trees. There are two different types of traps you can use. The first involves wrapping sticky paper around the tree's trunk. This will catch the nymphs as they climb up the tree. The sticky bands have a major drawback that people have unfortunately caught other creatures. And that is something we want people to be absolutely aware of the possibility and do everything they can to avoid it. Wrapping metal screen material over the sticky tree band can help prevent that from happening. You can find information on how to do this on the Penn State Extension website. Also on that site is a guide on to how to make the second recommended trap. A newer um, method are the circle traps. And this is a modified trap that's used for other insect management. And we've um, modified it so we can catch it for, or use it to catch lanternflies. It gets um, wrapped around the tree and it's, it's, basically a funnel that they, when they climb up, they climb into the funnel and then they go to the top and they get caught in the collection container. By late July, the nymphs turn into adults and become more noticeable, not just in size, but in color too, as their bodies become more red. Researchers are finding that some insecticides worked well against the spotted lanternfly in this stage. So far, they haven't been hard to kill with insecticides. We are encouraging people to avoid using home remedies, things they find under the sink or in the garage. Some of those products that people have been using are quite toxic and not safe, so they don't come with directions. Please use a um, labeled insecticide with instructions and use it according to the label. The Penn State Extension website has information on the two types of insecticides you can use, one that's a spray and one that gets injected into the tree itself. You have to get it into the tree properly and the way to do that is to read the labels. I like to tell people to look the labels up online before they buy the product and then do the math, figure out how much they need and really have a plan for how they're going to use it before it shows up you know, on their doorstep. Adult lanternflies typically die after the first killing frost, but not before laying eggs. They'll lay their eggs starting in the end of September, but 
a lot of eggs get laid in October. So start looking for eggs in that time frame. And then the eggs will be present from the time they're laid all the way until the spring. Each egg mass contains 30 to 50 eggs and resembles splattered mud. They can be found on hard surfaces such as trees, stones, and patio furniture. If you find one, use a putty knife or plastic card and scrape the mass into a plastic bag filled with rubbing alcohol or hand sanitizer. Tie the bag and then throw it into the trash. Don't just scrape the mass onto the ground as some may survive. And while doing these things hasn't stopped the spread of spotted lanternfly across Pennsylvania, it has helped to slow it down. So we're still just trying to get everybody to understand the importance um, to control it when it's present with methods that are safe and then avoid spreading it around. There's a, a lot of um, concern that it's going to um, certainly affect grapes, but also we don't know how it's going to affect some other commodities. So um, there's a lot of concern about further spread. And, and it all comes back to people understanding what, how to recognize it, why it's important, and doing all they can to not, not spread it and control it with methods that are safe. Find out how you can report, identify, and manage spotted lanternflies at the Penn State Extension website. You can also go here to learn more about quarantine compliance and permits, as well as answers to all sorts of questions regarding this pest. Because if we all do our part, we can hopefully keep this invasive insect from taking a bite out of Pennsylvania's economy. For Weather World, I'm Marissa Ferger.